Let's see how we can count cells with matching criteria in a given range with simple VBA code. On this sheet, I have some data of city names and we can see that data is available from C4 to I15. That means we can say that range is from C4 to I15. Now I have one condition that city name should be equal to Mumbai. So my task is that I want to count all cells with city name as Mumbai. So how we can do that with VBA code? So I have already written VBA code on one command button that we can see here. So once I click on this command button, first I will get a message. Message is total cells with matching criteria equal to 8. Once I click OK, so this 8 is populated or written in F2 cell. So let's see what is the VBA code that I have used to count cells with matching criteria. So let me go to developer tab. Click on design mode. Now I'll double click on this command button. So this is the simple VBA code that I have used to perform this task. So let me explain this code. First, dim my cell as range. So what I'm doing here, creating a variable of range type, then dim my range as range, another variable of range type, and then third variable dim total cells total cells is name of variable as integer integer is type of variable then what i am doing here set my range equal to worksheets sheet name is sheet 1 where we have data dot range equal to we know that data is in C4 to I15. So here I am specifying C4 to I15. Then total cells equal to 0. I am initializing this variable with 0 value. Now I will use for loop for each my cell in my range. If my cell dot value equal to Mumbai, it is a text value. So I have covered this value within inverted commas. Then total cells name of variable equal to variable. That means we have we already have zero value plus one. So logic is whenever any cell has value equal to Mumbai then value of this total cells variable will be increased by 1 and then I am closing if statement with and if keyword and then next my cell so within this code what is happening each cell will be evaluated and if value is found same to the criteria here in this case Mumbai then variable will increase value by 1 so by end of this line we have count of such cells with matching criteria then I am generating message MSG box within brackets in inverted comma so this is how we can write message within inverted comma I want to display same text so I have a specified total cells with matching criteria equal to and then sign of and or ampersand this is variable I don't want to display as text and this variable has total count that means this variable has value so without inverted commas and then I want to populate same value in f2 cell so for that 
worksheets sheet 1 or whatever is sheet name dot cells here 2 comma 6 that means row comma column so for f2 we know that row number is 2 and column number is 6 and that makes f2 in excel dot value equal to total cells so this is how we can count cells based on any condition with simple vba code i hope this code is useful and you can use this code for different projects with some changes into it so let's check how this code is working so let me go to sheet delete this existing value click on design mode so that we are out of design mode now when i click this command button as we have programmed or we have written vba code so we are getting message total cells with matching criteria equal to 8 once i click ok so 8 is populated here so let's say if we have any other condition so let me check city names as pune so what changes we need to do in our code instead of mumbai i write pune so let me go to excel sheet and now i click on this command button now total size with matching criteria are seven once i press ok we can see that seven is populated in f2 now as we know that we can simply visualize what are these seven cells so just for cross checking let me select this data go to conditional formatting highlight cells and then equal to p u n e pune press ok so although we have checked by using simple vba code here we can see that these are seven cells having city name as pune let me show the code again if you have any question around this topic write into comments or send me email thanks for watching this tutorial and you can subscribe to my channel for more vba tutorials